we're constructive on Asian credit, um, uh, and uh, particularly that denominated in uh, US dollars for, with a preference for high yield. Actually, high yields returned uh, around 1% to investors. Uh, year to date, that's a pretty strong um, uh, performance given the volatilities in the underlying yield market. But the fact is spreads, we think, adequately uh, compensates uh, investors for the risks they're taking. Uh, in the local currency space, actually, we've seen a lot of interest uh, amongst investors for uh, Chinese uh, government debt um, it, 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 around the 10-year mark. Uh, so far, we've seen returns again uh, year-to-date of around 1% uh, and anticipate um, an expected return over the next 12 months of some 8%. So actually, there's an interesting mix of local currency and US dollar denominated fixed income exposure, which we're recommending to clients as a way to diversify and balance their portfolios. Right. With uh, China's uh, data slowing, does that worry you about the overall state of the economy and also what that would mean for credit markets in general? Uh, no, it doesn't worry me. Uh, I mean, uh, it's been a fact now that China's uh, growth momentum has been decelerating uh, for uh, a number of weeks. Uh, actually, we s anticipate China's first quarter GDP uh, will come in at a slightly staggering 17, 16.5 to 17%. Uh, but thereafter, growth will moderate sharply. Uh, Q2, um, we've got pegged for something close to 3%. Uh, and into the second half of the year around 5%. So the deceleration uh, is natural uh, and clearly, again, uh, reflecting the base effect from the first quarter of last year. Uh, we, we're going to hear from the two sessions um, in a couple of weeks' time. But I think uh, both monetary policy and fiscal stimulus will remain supportive. Uh, there was an indication that uh, the PBOC were looking to tighten through the withdrawal of liquidity uh, a few uh, sorry, a, a month or so ago. Um, from the interbank market, that may moderate, but uh, I certainly don't think they will return to anything close to the stimulus levels that we saw last year. So yes, there's a, a moderation of growth. And I think, again, you can make the point, China's economy also is normalizing.